Greetings to you in the mighty and matchless name of God. My name is Paul and I'm a student. I have a doubt. I mean, uh, most people would also have, I mean, you've already spoken about free will and uh, things like that. I have doubts about free will as to what free will is and uh, do we have free will to do what we want to do. And uh, as you quoted uh, uh, chapter 2 verse 256 from Quran, there is no compulsion in religion and the truth will stand out from falsehood, right? So I am looking for truth and the truth will set me free, yeah? That is John chapter 8 verse 32. Correct, you're right. I mean, I'm not as great as you in uh, quoting things from uh, no, great. Bible and Quran, whatever, but I just want to know as to whether we have free will and what free will is and uh, when they say, and the quotation that I've said that there is no compulsion in religion, what is compulsion here? I mean, I don't know, sure, whether it have taken it out of context and quoted it, what was before it and what was after it, because my friends couldn't explain to me what was there before it and after it. Those Probably I'll have to read it. And when you say there is no compulsion, uh, made to do, like, say, suppose you have to say prayers five times a day, right? Do we, is it compulsory? The brother asked two questions. The first question, what is a free will? And as Gospel of John chapter 8 verse 32 says that seek the truth and truth shall free you. Jesus Christ, peace be upon said that. And he quote from the Quran, like Rafid Deen, chapter 2, Surah Baqarah, verse number 256. MashaAllah is comparing, you know, great. He says he seeks the truth and I pray to God that may that truth set you free. Correct. As far as free will is concerned, free will means what you want you can do. For example, today I want to destroy the full world. Can I do it? I can try, but I will not succeed. You understand? Free will means what is in your capacity. Whatever is in your capacity you can do. Whether you are able to do or not, that is secondary. For example, in my capacity to give a lecture. You can try, like how you tried and you give a quotation. Whether you can give the full lecture, I don't know. But you have the free will to try. So similarly, you have the free will to rob. You have the free will to become honest. You have the free will to kill. You have the free will to save a human life. It's your free will. So free will means you can do what you want. No one can force you. Fine? No one can force you. Now coming to the question of La Ikhra Fiddin, chapter 2, verse 256. There's no compulsion in religion, but truth stands out clear from error. Here means you cannot force anyone to accept Islam at the point of the sword. I cannot take a gun and put it on his forehead and say, accept Islam. It's not allowed. I cannot force anyone, but when I give the logical reasons, for example, doctor says, you have diabetes. Don't have sugar. Oh, doctor is forcing me not to have sugar. Yes. He's compelling me. If I don't want to listen to doctor, I can go and yet have chocolate. So the doctor is advising you. But an intelligent man will not have sugar. Will have less sugar. But the doctor cannot force him. Brother. No, I think I'm looking down. I'm wondering. No, I'm, I'm trying to concentrate Constant. more on you rather than anything else. Fine. So the thing is there that if the doctor tells you something, you can use the word, the doctor compelled me not to have sugar. But the right word is the doctor advised me and I'm following. Similarly, like, is it compulsory to pray five times? For a Muslim, yes. It's compulsory. Is it a compulsion? It's not a compulsion with force. If he doesn't want, he doesn't pray. He can say, I don't believe in Allah. No one can force him. Because he agrees with the system. Ah, if I pray five times, I am getting guidance from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I am on the straight path, therefore I am praying five times. Like how a doctor advises you, don't have sugar. He wants to follow, he follows. You have to fast. It's advised by Almighty God. Surah Baqarah chapter 2, verse 183. Fasting has been prescribed to you as it was prescribed to people who came before you so that you may learn self-restraint. Your taqwa will increase. So I am fasting. No one can force me with a gun to fast. Is it compulsory to fast? Yes, for a Muslim. Is there compulsion in religion? No one can force me. I should fast with physical force. So that's talking about physical force. No one can physically force anyone to do anything. It's your free will. No, but then uh, why is it called, why is it that we, it is compulsory to fast, compulsory to... There are two types of compulsory. One compulsory is with reason and logic. The other compulsory is with force. What Quran is talking about compulsion is force. Like when doctor says, don't have sugar. Is it compulsory? Yes. Doctor says, compulsory, don't have sugar. Is the doctor forcing you? Literally, yes. With logic, not with a gun. Right or wrong? 
So the doctor is saying compulsory, no sugar for you. If you have faith in doctor, you follow. If you don't have faith, you don't follow. So same way, this is advice given by Almighty God in the Quran. If you believe Almighty God is the creator, you follow. If you don't believe, you don't follow. So anyone who is a Muslim is a person who submits his will to Almighty God. The free will God has given, I can either go against the commandment of God or I can follow his commandment. After God has given me free will, if I follow his commandment, I am called as a Muslim. A Muslim is a person who submits his will to Almighty God. There is no physical force on me. The compulsion that's spoken in Surah Baqarah chapter 2 verse 256 is the physical compulsion. It is not the logical compulsion. 2 plus 2 is how much? 4. I said it. Is it compulsory 4? I mean, that's, that, that is free will, yeah? It is your choice Correct. to choose Correct. You can say 3 also. Correct. You can say 5 also. If I can say it is 3, then I can I have to prove it, right? No, no. If you don't prove, you can say 3. Anyone can do anything to you. I didn't get it, sir. You can say 3 also without proving. Can anyone do anything to you? If you say 2 plus 2 equal to 3 illogically, what can you do? But then they'll say he doesn't know math. So what's there? But you can say or not? Can you yeah, say or not? Yes. Yeah, that is a free but will. But people no? will call, ah, that is a free will, correct. That's what I want. But if you say that. 2 plus 2 equal to 3, people will say you don't know maths. So if you say 2 plus 2 is 4, it's not compulsory. Same way. If you pray 5 times, you are a Muslim. If you say don't pray 5 times, you're not a Muslim. Simple. So it is a compulsion with reason and logic. So as you told 2 plus 2 is equal to 4 is compulsory. Why? For a person who knows maths. For a person who doesn't know maths, he may not say 2 plus 2 is 4. He may say 2 plus 2 is 5. 2 plus 2 is 6. So this is compulsion of reason, logic, and iman, and belief. So, hope that answers the question. No, as in, uh, why are you, why? Do you have a new question? No, it's not a new question. It's like, uh, No, did I answer your question or not? Yes, sir. Okay. You answered the question. Yeah, okay. Do you have a new question? No yeah, problem, you can ask. I'm, okay, what I'm saying is, it says, I mean, now you're saying it has, we have to do it five times. Now, if I say I do it ten times, hmm. but I'm not doing it at uh, the prayer time, say Asr, I'm not doing it at Maghrib, I'm not doing it at these certain times, hmm. but I do it. Hmm. And uh, I do it when I'm, when I'm going to eat my food before the meal, I, I'll, I'll say my prayer. When I'm sitting, when I'm standing, when I'm walking, when I'm running. Fine. Correct. So, no. but now why, why, why is the word compulsory five times? Fine. That I'm not. Now, for a doctor say, don't have sugar. Okay, doctor, I won't have sugar. I won't have salt. I won't have rice. I will die. Don't have sugar. Okay, I won't have sugar. I won't have rice. I won't have bread. I won't have food. I won't have non-veg. I won't have veg. Person will die. So you can't go overboard. Doctor says, don't have sugar. Okay, at this time have medicine. You can have sugar at so and so time. Have limited. So this is because doctor knows. Now you try and become more intelligent than the Creator, than Almighty God. He knows better than you and me. If you say, no, no, I'll do like that, then you will suffer. So doctor knows the human body. Almighty Creator knows us better. So he's our Creator. He has given the advice. If you follow, you will be called as a Muslim submitting a will to God. If you don't follow, there's no compulsion of force. I cannot force you to accept Islam. Can I force you? No. No, you cannot because I have the free will. Correct. With your free will, some people like my answer, they accept it. It's not necessary you also have to accept. Tomorrow if you agree, you are a seeker of truth. Correct? You are a seeker of truth, shall free you. Because I'll ask, I'll seek and then I'll know. Sure. Once you're convinced, you're most welcome. So I'm waiting for the day that you're convinced. Hopefully, inshallah.